Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at horizontal and vertical projections so we can answer questions from exercise 6b. So this section here is kind of setting us up for 6c and 6d where we're going to be projecting a particle at an angle and how we can deal with that using SUVAT. So what we've got here is, a, is, is basically what we're going to be doing here. We've got a particle that's been going to be projected at an angle upwards, kind of like a, a rocket being fired up into the air at an angle, uh, with an initial speed of u and at an angle theta. And obviously its distance, uh, so its projection, is going to look like this. Um, so the question is, how would we deal with this using a SUVAT equation? Well, what we would do, just, with for just the same as with forces, is we would divide it up into a horizontal component and a vertical component. We know the hypotenuse length, we know the angle on the right angle triangle here, so we can work out the horizontal component of the, uh, dis of the initial speed and the vertical component of the initial speed as well. So any particle projected at an angle will have an initial horizontal and vertical speed, which we will usually need to resolve separately. So same sort of thing that we've done before with the horizontal and the vertical components, only this time there is now going to be some vertical projection speed uh, upwards or maybe even potentially downwards. So let's go through uh, a small question here then. A particle is projected from a point on a horizontal plane with an initial velocity of 40 meters at an angle alpha above the horizontal where tan alpha is equal to 3 over 4. So we've seen these types of annoying questions before where we have to create our own little right angle triangle on the side so we know what sine alpha is and cos alpha is. Uh, so now we can use these ratios to split up the initial velocity into its horizontal and vertical parts. We have an initial velocity of 40 meters per second squared angled at an angle of alpha where tan of alpha is 3 over 4. So resolving these into vertical and horizontal components we're going to have 40 cos alpha on the adjacent side and 40 sine alpha on the opposite side of the right angle triangle. So to answer the question then, find the horizontal and vertical components of the speed. That's going to be 32 and 24. The next part is to write the initial vector, the initial velocity in a vector form. So that's going to be 32 on the horizontal components, that's 32i, and 24 on the vertical component, so that is 24j. So 32i plus 24j, all in brackets, and then metres per second uh, as the units there. Working with this the other way round, uh, a particle is projected with a velocity 3i plus 5j metres per second, where i and j are unit vectors in the horizontal and vertical directions respectively, find the initial speed of the particle and its angle of projection. Well, this is kind of mating, making the right angle triangle in reverse. Initial speed will be the length on this hypotenuse here, so that's going to be Pythagoras' theorem, square root 34 metres per second. And the angle of projection, just use a tan angle, so it's going to be tan minus 1 of opposite over adjacent, 5 over 3, so that's 59 degrees. So the initial speed is going to be 34 metres per second, and the angle of uh, projection is going to be 59 degrees. Okay, so there we are. Have a go at a question uh, on your own then. Pause the video and try this question out. Okay then, hopefully that wasn't too bad. As I say, this exercise here is more of a warm-up to get us uh, ready for exercise 6c. Um, in this case here, we have an initial speed of 6 in the horizontal direction and 9 in the vertical direction. And we want to find the initial speed of the particle and its angle of projection. So first thing will be to do a bit of Pythagoras' theorem on 6 squared plus 9 squared. And 6 squared plus 9 squared is equal to 3 root 13. So it's going to be 3 root 13 meters per second. If we want this as an actual value, it's going to be 10.8 meters per second. So that's the initial speed of the um, system. And the then the angle of projection is going to be just a tan calculation, tan minus 1 
of 9 over 6. Remember, that's always going to be opposite over adjacent. 9 divided by 6 is, and that projection there is going to be at a 56 degree angle. Lovely, there we are. So that's the answer to that quick question there then. Move on quickly to exercise 6C, I think. Thanks very much for watching.